Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. It's one of my replays and I'm in the sheaf. It's your 10 Sherman battleship. I'm on map to Brothers. It's a four-point domination game. Unfortunately, there is a sub, but uh, I guess it could always be worse. There could be more than one sub. <laughs> or a carrier even. Now, an enemy core first has wenched relatively close. Unfortunately, my secondaries pretend they can't shoot it. Now, of course, that's because I'm too close to this island, so my secondaries don't have the necessary arc to shoot the core first, while the core first secondaries can shoot back. So this is a situation that I would consider not ideal. Now, my torpedoes are soon reloaded. I could try to torpedo the core first if it keeps pushing right into this cap, although if it wants to do that or not remains to be seen. Now, my secondaries have finally realized they can shoot something. And honestly, what I can do here is I can just go around this island and then engage the Stalingrad, because that Stalingrad is close enough for some secondary pew pew as well. Now, we haven't really seen the enemy destroyers around here yet. Of course, one of them is blocking the D-camp, so that's a thing. And this is why I'm gonna Hydro. There are three enemy destroyers and a sub, and so far we only know that Yu Yang isn't here. Now, there is the gearing, there are the gearing torps, and... Those look like pretty dodgeable. Of course, um, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? <laughs> uh, oh no. Well, uh, I failed. <laughs> but what can I say? I failed. Now, the good news is it wasn't too bad. And the starting rod's dead. So, there is that at least. Now this is a uh, first blood, I suppose, and not a bad start for our team. It doesn't look like the enemy has too many ships here. We know the gearing is here, we obviously we know the core first is here, we know the Nottingham is here. There might be something else we haven't seen yet, but so far I think we can go fairly aggressive. First we want to deal with this core first, my secondaries are shooting it, my primaries are actually getting an amazingly good hit in there. And this Corvus shouldn't be around for much longer. Now I only have one minute of Hydro left. Ideally I'd like to push the gearing or so with Hydro. But I don't think it will last long enough for that. We do have uh, technically a Moskva here. Now the Moskva instead of you know joining us here with this push is showing a little bit too much broadside to a Corvus instead. Then again the Corvus might be busy shooting something else. The Burgonia is going in quite aggressively. And that Kufist has been dealt with. Now at this point I'm gonna go into this camp. We know that the gearing's still inside because it's still being camped. The Bougonia has an option here to probably go behind this island and be a little bit more torpedo safe. And oh there are torpedoes from the side. So yeah that's a shimmer. So there is a shimmer around here and it has gone for the Bougonia and uh, missed so that's that's good news. That Shima could have caught me unawares too. So... Oh, I'm not gonna... No, no, I'm, I'm not gonna eat that single one, right? I... <laughs> no. No. I don't want your fish, okay? I really don't want it. So, uh, I have not eaten said fish. Which is great. My random torpedoes are still going in a position where there could be a shimmer, but you know, it would be very unlikely that they get a hit. The Bogonia should potentially think about turning around here at this point just to preserve some health. Meanwhile, the Moskva is finally coming in. Unfortunately, our radar ship is furthest away from, from the destroyers. So there is that. Which is a bit of a shame because it's not like there are any big threats keeping the Moskva in the back. But it's coming. It's slowly, but it's coming. Meanwhile, my next target is to get rid of the Nottingham. I have to admit, I have no idea what a Nottingham is. Sounds British. <laughs> but uh, I have no idea about its capabilities or so. It seems to well in smoke, I guess. What I do know is, well, I suspect it has torpedoes cause, you know. Sounds British, and I tend to have torps. I also know that there is a shimmer in the gearing here. Now, 
I have no idea when or where they've talked from. Also, by the way, there's a Kremlin that has taken the B cap, which is a bit weird. And our team might be needing some help there. So I'm I'm gonna turn around here for one. I'm hoping to throw off any top launches. And oh uh, no, I'm actually eating the top launch. <laughs> I should I should stop eating so much fish. Well, Hydro is soon gonna be ready, that will help. Okay, the Shimmer has been spotted. The Shimmer is pretty far away, so I should be safe on that. On that part. Don't know where the gearing is though. Now, where does Nottingham Torps, like did the Nottingham Torp before it went behind that island, or where does gearing Torps, I don't know. I just know that I don't want any more of this. Now, I'm going back to help with the Kremlin. Okay, so there are... Maybe those are the gearing Torps? However... Or whatever. The Kremlin seems to be still alive and blocking our camp. We've already lost, I think, one cruiser to it, and we are possibly losing a San Diego to it now too. Does the San Diego have torps at least? Because otherwise, it's in a very dicey spot. Now the gearing... Well, we know where the gearing is, I guess. I'm gonna use one torp launcher against that smoke. I do certainly hope that the Borgonia isn't going to sail broadside. Well, I mean, the Borgonia could block my torps, but also, like, it, it really shouldn't be sailing broadside in front of that smoke screen. The uh, Moskva is getting closer. Maybe the Moskva will reach that smoke and radar it at some point. Maybe it won't. Anyway, I'm going back to help with the Kremlin and then I'll probably need to help on the other side. On this part of the map we only have destroyers left and as a Schlieffen I'm not really equipped to detect them. Unless they sit still and let me hide with them. Now we have the Kremlin here, who has gotten rid of the San Diego. This Kremlin has done a lot of damage to us. Or let's say our team has done a lot of damage to itself because of the Kremlin. <laughs> we lost vision of the Kremlin, so I decided to hydro it to allow Viper to continue to shoot it. Also, I have no idea where the Yu Yang is, so... Maybe there is some fish coming my way. Who knows? Meanwhile, the Moskva still hasn't raided the gear. Oh, I talked to gearing. <laughs> well, uh, dear Kremlin, thanks for the double strike. <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe not the most deserved Kremlin kill, but it's a juicy double strike. The Moskva has. I think uh, remember that it has radar and at least it's working against the Shimmer now. Maybe they can get the Shimmer, that would be nice. Meanwhile, I'm now going to brawl a Colombo. I have more torpedoes going on the way here, so I had one launcher in reserve because I thought I might need it against the Kremlin, but I didn't, so now I'm using it against potentially that Colombo. It's now hiding in smoke and I'm getting rudely interrupted while camping here. But it's fine, most of the camp points are held by my friend in the destroyer anyway. Meanwhile, the Bogoni and the Moskva have failed to sink the Shimmer, but, you know, they saw it for a while, so they should have been able to do a bit of damage to it and soften it up for the next round. Meanwhile, I set a fire on that Columbo. I've got some old hopes going. I don't know exactly where the Buffalo is going to sail. Or what that Columbo is going to do. My fishes are very slow, but maybe they'll get a hit. Also, maybe we can just sink that Columbo with guns now, that would help. Oh, there is some fish coming. Yeah, I'm going to dodge those, thankfully. The bad news is, my Hydro is on... Uh, well, it's about to run out. Also, the Columbus survived. That's also bad news, I guess, because it means I'm gonna take more damage. So, only six seconds of Hydro left. Yu Yang does have a reload booster. No, it could be on cooldown. Yu Yang probably had plenty of torpedo targets. So, it might have used that early on something else. But, you, you, you are not going to see deep waters coming, right? Unless you have Hydro. 
which means the only defense I have is hope that it will mischarge where I am. Now I am shooting this hipper because the hipper is very low, so we should be able... Oh shit, there is a sub. Oh uh, no, how did I forget about the sub? Why is that still alive? So, uh... My, my damage con is ready in case I need it. If it pings now, they'll all converge on me, but it, it forgot that it has a ping. Or oh, it had the non-ping torpedo loaded, I guess. I will eat one. I'm afraid I can't quite avoid that. But... Uh, well, it's only one. Now the hipper has been dealt with, that's good news. The buffalo is getting low. I'm going to shoot, uh, going to shoot at some more. And we do see an oil spill here. I suspect that's... Oh, it's... Well, okay, my guess in which direction the sub is moving was a little off. But I still got a fire. Not actually a... Not even a hit notification, but... A f oh, no, wait, that fire was probably on the buffalo, not on the sub. Never mind. Okay, it's uh, here, I guess. Let's try this again. Meanwhile, my destroyer friends uh, well, have gotten close enough to get some hits in as well. And I actually managed to snag the kill and unleash a Kraken. And I even dodged it. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. SJR, I think, has softened up that uh, sub for me so I could finish it off. And... I would probably have spotted these torpedoes. So I live. Hooray for teamwork. Unfortunately, though, this battle is far from won. We have uh, technically one more ship, but we have fewer points and we are currently losing the D cap. Now we can flip the A cap to compensate, but we'll still be behind by a bit. Now I'm in no way healthy enough to fight Eva Mont. The mod is pretty, pretty healthy as well. So, I'm current, yeah, ow. I'm currently running towards the Yu Yang. Now I do have uh, my destroyer friend here with me. Maybe SJR can spot it. I'm not gonna go into concealment because, well, the Yu Yang will keep me spotted for eternity, so might as well get the shell off against the Vermont. Maybe it even does something. Now the Shimmer is still PC in D, so at least I don't have to worry about that. But I'm on my last Hydro and I have 1 minute and 20 seconds remaining. If we don't sink the Yu Yang in this time, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be so getting farmed by Torps. Okay, so I'm going to dodge those. And we are kind of... Oh, there is the Yu Yang. I was just saying we are going to box it in against that zone wall here hopefully now it is smoking up and 52 seconds of hydro left now the good news is i can now go into concealment because uh, if i if i not shoot and the your young is in smoke nothing can see me i have 36 seconds of uh, hydro left and a few hit points <laughs> <laughs> now I do have one damage cut left. If it sets a lucky fire here, I can get away with it for a little bit. I also have some torps going towards its smoke. 22 seconds of hydro. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna wait inside this smoke, but I do have SJR with me. And the Yu Yang can torp him, right? So even if I fall here, SJR will have no trouble gunning it down. And since the Yu Yang can't use its torps to defend itself, it, it basically is doomed. The question is just will I survive or not? Meanwhile, we are losing the camp behind us, and oh, there is the Yu Yang. And shells are out. There we go. <laughs> and that's a confederate. Nice. So now I need to go back to B, and uh, well, I guess we'll see if we can do something against the Shimmer. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't spot deep waters. My Hydra was on was no longer running. Oh well. So, there is some more fish coming this way. We'll unlock the camera and we'll have a look at what happens from now on. Now, oh, we got a strike team. Viper is trying to sink the Vermont. The Burgonia is going for the C cap and SJR is going for the B cap. Now, 
The Shimmer is coming through here against the Pogonia. Pogonia takes care of said Shimmer. And yeah, the Pogonia dodged. Now I can't move the camera any faster. But we can see from here that the Vermont is getting farmed. There is one minute left. We are a little bit behind, but the Vermont goes down. So uh, great work by the Burgonia, taking care of the Chimmer and avoiding the torps that was probably needed to win. And this was a close one, but we managed to pull through. And <laughs> I think we might have slightly carried. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you next time.